Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us for another video. I am super excited about sharing this video with you guys because we actually started this video 11 months ago. Most of you know that follow us on a regular basis. We are in a temporary living arrangement right now. We are a small homesteading family and we just sold our one acre homestead just a few months ago and are living in a temporary apartment for the next six months until Joe retires at which time we are heading west across country to our forever homestead that we purchased in Alaska. We have a beautiful 15 acre piece of property with a cute little Frisian style cabin waiting for us. But for now, we are here in this little apartment for the next six months trying to make the best of it. As a small homesteading family and the lifestyle that we live, it's important to us to um, try to raise as much of our own food as we can, whether that was raising meat on the homestead, fresh chicken eggs, having a very large garden and canning and preserving every year. It's just something that our family uh, makes a very big priority in our lives. So obviously being here in the apartment, we can't have our chickens. So if you guys clicked on this video, you already know we are gonna be eating some pretty old eggs today. We are doing the water glass method of preserving eggs. Now water glassing eggs is something that was actually traced back to the 1800s and it's one of the oldest preservation methods for eggs. So this is really exciting. Joe and I heard about this a couple of years ago and we always wanted to try it and 11 months ago we gave it a shot. Water glassing does not work with store-bought eggs. You want to make sure that you're using fresh eggs and also that they're clean Y'all know what I'm talking about. You get the, the eggs out of the coop. Sometimes they're covered in poop. They get knocked out of the box and they're just gross. So you don't wanna use those dirty eggs. You wanna use ones that are clean. And you also don't wanna wash the eggs before you put them into this hydrated lime solution because you're gonna disrupt the bloom that is on that egg naturally once it's laid, that protective coating, which is gonna help preserve that egg as well. So I'm excited because I've got some footage from the Homestead property when Joe and I first preserved all these fresh eggs that we had last summer 2021. And then we're gonna fast forward to today where we're gonna be actually using some of those eggs here in the apartment almost a year later. Now, water glassing eggs, it's said that they are good for up to two years in this solution. And uh, we're at a year now, we've already been using these eggs. Yesterday I made some brownies for Parker and I also made him a scrambled egg sandwich and I could not believe um, how good they are. I guess I was just surprised. I doubted a little bit that this was really gonna work. Uh, but it really does. So I want to share it with you guys. If you've got a homestead, you've got all these farm fresh eggs, you know, you don't know what to do with them sometimes. We end up giving them away to neighbors or selling them. Well, store them away for winter because you guys know in the winter season, the hens typically stop laying uh, as much when it gets darker and colder. So this is a great way to preserve all those eggs you're getting in the spring and the summer so that you've got a large batch of eggs to get your family through the winter season. Eleven months ago, we had a bunch of homestead fresh eggs that we wanted to preserve for the winter. So we started out with purchasing our hydrated lime. Now you can get hydrated lime on Amazon. There are a lot of different sources where you can get this. Hydrated lime is a combination of oyster shells, bones, and limestone that's burnt in a kiln, and then it's rehydrated with water. Another term you might be familiar with is calcium hydroxide or pickling lime. It's the same thing. To get started with water glassing your eggs, all you're gonna need is some hydrated lime, a food safe bucket, such as the one we have here, some water, and then of course your clean 
farm fresh eggs. Now the ratio for your hydrated lime solution is going to be one weighted ounce to one quart of water. No matter how big your jar or your bucket is that you're going to be keeping your eggs in, this is going to be the ratio, one quart of water to one weighted ounce of the hydrated lime. Now it is said that you can put this in a three gallon bucket, five gallon bucket. You can even use some of those big mason jars that we like to use on the homestead. Just keep in mind that the more eggs that you put in your bucket, that is going to put weight on the ones that are on the bottom, which could potentially cause them to crack. So I think in the future, if Joe and I continue to preserve this way for the winter, as far as the eggs go, we might try to do smaller gallon sized jars because we did have a few eggs that ended up cracking. As you can see, we're starting out with two gallons of water. So we're doing eight weighted ounces of the hydrated lime. Just dump this right in your bucket and then use a whisk or something and give it a good stir. Once you have this good and mixed, go ahead and grab your clean eggs and you're just gonna start placing them in the bucket. It's as simple as that. I would recommend using a slotted cheese spoon or something to put these eggs down in the solution as the hydrated lime is not good for your skin. So in this case, do as I say, not as Joe is doing. Um, definitely use some type of slotted spoon to set them down under the solution. All you're gonna do now, once your eggs are all in the bucket, top it off with some more of the solution just to ensure that all of the eggs are submerged. Add your lid and then put this in a cool, dark place at room temperature. It does not have to be in a cellar or a cold space. Room temperature is just fine. As you continue to get eggs from your hens, go ahead and keep adding them to the same bucket, making more of the hydrated lime solution as needed to ensure that they're always submerged. All right, so here is our bucket of eggs that we started 11 months ago. So we'll show you guys what they look like. So it has a little bit of an odor to it, but I don't think that it's like a rotten egg odor. Do you, Joe? I think it's more of like the lime mixture uh, when we first opened this up about a week ago here in the apartment, we did have a couple floaters inside the bucket. Whenever you are not sure if your eggs are still good to eat or if they're rotten, just get a bowl of water and gently drop your egg in the bowl of water. If it floats, it's bad, it's rotten, you don't want to eat it. If it sinks to the bottom, it's still good to eat. So when you open up your bucket, months later and if you've got any that are floating at the top those are rotten for whatever reason just discard those and don't eat those ones but the rest of these eggs are fully submerged and like i said i was baking with them yesterday made a scrambled egg sandwich for parker they taste fine they look fine and they smell fine so without further ado let's jump in and crack open some of these eggs so you guys can see what they look like you wanna make sure that you rinse these eggs really well when you get them out. You don't wanna get any of that lime solution in your egg. That's not gonna be good for you, so give them a good rinse. So we have a pot of boiling water over here. We're gonna show you guys what these eggs look like if you wanna boil them. We're also going to fry an egg over here and then we're going to scramble some eggs over here. So a little bit of everything to show you the consistency and what these lime preserved eggs look like months later. So this hydrated lime solution, it's made to seal concrete. That's what this is for. So that's how these eggs are preserved. It seals the shell of the egg. So the eggshell itself is not porous anymore after it's been sitting inside of this lime solution. So just a little trick with the eggs that you want to boil. I 
tried this a few months back and I just dropped one of these lime preserved eggs in the boiling water and it pretty much exploded like a science experiment. So the trick if you wanna boil them is make sure that you put a hole in the shell first, just a small hole, so that while it's cooking in the boiling water, that pressure can be released and it won't explode on you. So just a little tiny hole like that will do just fine if you're planning on boiling the eggs. Do we need another one? Don't want to that. Okay. Joe's gonna put one more in here. I don't know if it's needed, but I don't think it can hurt it, so. So we'll let those cook for a little bit. We'll come back in a few minutes and check on those. It's like a science experiment. Yeah. Homeschool science. Yep. <laughs> with eggs. All right. So you'll notice with these lime preserved eggs, the white of the egg is super runny compared to a fresh egg. The yolk should still stay together fairly well but the white is definitely more runny, as you can tell. It's perfectly safe and good to eat like this. There's nothing wrong with it. All right, so what Parker's gonna demonstrate for us is a farm fresh egg. This has not been preserved in lime. This is straight off the homestead. Compared to the lime preserved egg, to show you the difference in the texture with the whites of the egg. Like I said, science experiment. All right, buddy, go ahead. Crack it open on the plate. Come down closer to the plate. There you go. All right. This uh, orange part's bigger and fatter than that one. Yeah, so as you can see, the total difference, you have a lot more thickness on the farm fresh egg than you do with the preserved egg. But I'll tell you guys, the taste is exactly the same. They smell exactly the same. But just to show you the consistency and how different they look. And I know somebody probably has this question, but yes, you can lime preserve fertilized eggs just the same as non-fertilized eggs. So this is cooking out just fine. Again, it's a little bit thinner than a fresh egg, but you know, when you're looking at self-sufficiency and trying to preserve some good protein for the winter, I would eat this no problem. Okay, so we did try two separate fried eggs here, and while they're turning out great, we're noticing that the yolk is also a little bit more runny than uh, the farm fresh eggs. So the yolk kind of sets up thicker with the fresh egg versus the lime preserved egg. So when we flip it, it tends to break every time. So, and Joe's usually pretty good at flipping eggs and not breaking them, so. But again, I mean, the flavor is the same. The texture is the same. You're just not gonna, you know, unless you wanna do like sunny side up maybe. Um, but we are finding that the yolk tends to break when we flip it. All right, so here is the fresh egg. Joe just fried this one. These are the preserved eggs that we pulled out of the bucket today. And as you can see, the texture is pretty much the same. Um, Parker accidentally broke the yolk on the fresh egg, but still, I mean, you can fry up these eggs just fine. So now let's give them a taste. All right, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. All right, which one should I try first? Smells like an egg.
Tastes totally fine. Tastes exactly like a fresh egg. All right, so our timer just went off for the boiled eggs. We're gonna strain these. All right, so I'm gonna let those boiled eggs cool in submerged cold water. That's what I always do when I boil eggs and it helps them to peel really well, even farm fresh eggs. Um, and the best way to do it, like if you're making deviled eggs for a party or something, I make them the day before, let them cool in cold water and then put them in the refrigerator, let them cool overnight so they're super cold and then peel them under running water and the shells come off just fine. All right, so now we're gonna do up some scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Smell anything? No. So I think for my, for me personally, I think scrambling the eggs is like, it gives you the best consistency with these lime preserved eggs. Even though all of these ways of cooking, as you can see so far, are turning out just fine. Um, while Joe was mixing up those eggs, you can see that it's a very thin consistency compared to farm fresh eggs. But if you throw a little cream in there, once you scramble them up, they fluff up nicely. And you honestly can't even tell the difference between the preserved eggs and fresh eggs. Okay, so this is what our boiled eggs turned out to look like. Not too shabby. So this is way better than the first attempt because I didn't know that you needed to poke a hole in them and like I said, it exploded in my pot. So some of them peel a little bit better than others. Obviously, look at this one. Um, definitely boiled eggs. I definitely wouldn't take these to a party, that's for sure. <laughs> Maybe not the best thing for making deviled eggs, but you can boil them. Not bad. Okay, so as you guys saw for yourself, preserving eggs in this lime solution was very successful for our family. I'm very excited to see that all of these different ways of cooking these preserved eggs worked out just fine. And it's a wonderful way to preserve all those fresh eggs that you're getting in the spring and the summer so that you can enjoy them in the winter months. Thanks for joining us today for another video, friends, and we will see you very soon. That's good. That's good. You're doing a good job, Joe. No, really, that's good. No, but you're doing a good job, Joe. I want to show everybody how good of a job you're doing. Yeah. You're doing a good job, Joe. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Can it show? What kind of turtle is it? A box turtle. A box turtle? I think. Yeah, you want to tell them where you found it? I saw it on the road. My dad found it. Yeah. I didn't really find it, he did. Yeah, but you were going to move it out of the road so it didn't get ran over, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah.
I was watching Sonic the movie, mm-hmm. and the turtle was slowly moving on the road, like one of these ones. Yeah. Look exactly like it. Let me see where's where's her little garage door. Right there. Oh, so cool. Mm-hmm. It opens up just like a garage door, huh? Yeah. I think yeah. that is so neat. If I set her down, she might come out, but Leo might scare her. Yeah. If she hears that she's on the ground, she might come out. Yeah. <laughs>